morning, everyone. Ah, so great to see everybody. Well, today is a busy, busy day here. Mm. Oh, losing my voice. There are a lot of things I am trying to get done with today. So yeah, it's going to be a super busy day. But thank you. Thank you for joining me this morning. Hi, DM. And hello, Sarah Lee. And thank you so much, DM, for putting in all the links. Hi, Jen. Hi, Gina. And hello, everybody else who hasn't yet had a chance to say hello in the chat. It's great to have you here. Um, yeah, we are still having our week of super warm weather. But guess what? We're going to be sharing it with you. That's right. If you watch Ryan Hall, yep, our warm weather from the Pacific Northwest is going to be spread out across the country. So you're welcome. You're welcome. You'll be getting that over the next few days. <laughs> Hi, Jane. <laughs> no meetings. Wow. Awesome, DM. That's fantastic. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Woo. And it was, it was warm last night. It did not cool down really at all. So it was warm and, uh, yeah, the cats are upstairs for the most part, loving it. And, uh, yesterday, yesterday was a little light with the food. Um, especially, you know, I'm always watching Gracie and her food, but this morning, boy, the appetite was back. So, so that's a good sign. Um, hi, Denise. And uh, let's see, uh, what is going on today? Um, well, I'm trying to get some things done around here, trying to do like little, trying to break things down into like little 10 minute projects. It's like, let's get this done. It should take about 10 minutes to get done. So trying to get some of those things done, trying to get some Halloween organized and sorted out uh, because, uh, let's see, so if Monday the 21st, which is next Monday, uh, Jen and I are going to be having a Halloween sale on Monday. Don't forget today, Jen is having a Halloween sale. Uh, that will be at 6.30 Eastern. Yeah, 6.30 Eastern. And at uh, 4.30 Eastern today, Kim from Oh My Vintage will be, having, um, will be having her monthly sale. So, uh, so be sure and stop by Kim from Oh My Vintage. And in fact, I've got... I've got the link here because I just set the reminder. So let me go. Kim's sale, 4.30 Eastern time. There we go. So there is the link to Kim's sale. I always forget Kim's sale. I remember Jen's sale <laughs> for the most part, but I, I don't remember Kim's sale. So there are the links to both of the sales. Hey, if you don't want to miss either of those sales, click on those links, hit the remind button. YouTube will send you out an extra reminder. So it's it's a little more than just getting it in your feed. I think they actually send you an email. So every time you don't want to miss a sale, find that thumbnail, click the remind button, and you'll get an extra reminder from YouTube. Hello, Sandy. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Susan. And yeah, it's it's hot, but um, but yeah, more heat's coming your way. So enjoy. <laughs> um, let's see what else. What else? Oh yes, Halloween. So Monday, the twenty first, uh, Jen and I will be doing Halloween. Um, Aaron Proctor and I on Friday nights, there are going to be two Friday nights. We are going to do a little bit of a takeover and we're going to have Halloween on Friday nights. So the first one is going to be the 25th, which is the week before Labor Day. 
then we're going to have it the week after Labor Day. I know a lot of people have plans right now, um, you know, for Labor Day and a lot of things. There's a lot of local events going on um, for Labor Day. So um, so we're going to kind of bypass Labor Day. But the Friday before Labor Day, the Friday after Labor Day, um, Aaron and I are taking over Friday nights and we're going to have Halloween special sales. So, uh, yeah, so mark those on your calendar. I'll be setting up at some point, setting up <laughs> the thumbnails. Um, so, yeah, so be sure and check that out. We are ready for Halloween. We're having a blast and we are ready for Halloween. And if you haven't checked out, I know DM put the link in my chat and I didn't happen to grab one of my Halloween shirts, but be sure and check out my two Halloween designs. So there they are. I've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, tote bags, notebooks, pint glasses, uh, coffee mugs, all kinds, all kinds of items with Halloween. So get those get those ordered now so that uh, you can have them in time for Halloween because it does take a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks to get, you know, about a week to get things printed and about a week to get things mailed out. So, um, so yeah, yeah. Check that out. And thank you so much. DM DM's got the, um, got the store link in there. Hi, Betty Ann. Um, but yeah, so thank you everyone for joining me today. And um, yeah, because I've got a super busy day planned. I know it's all in my head. It's all in my head. Let's see what we can get done. Um, I am going to start off with free. Yep, free. So let's type um, plate. Plate in the chat if you would like this free plate display. I am going to let you know there's a couple of rough spots there, but still super cool. Um, yeah, you just need to pay for shipping on that. And it looks like DM, DM was first. Woo. She got the fast internet today. DM has got that. So thank you. But yeah, I love, I love giving away stuff when I can. Things that have, you know, a little bit of normal wear. Still going to display a plate beautifully. Okay. I've got another. And I'm not sure how these go. Okay. These are silver plated monogram napkin holders. Okay. Kind of specific. Let's, let's go silver. If you're interested in these silver, now I'm not sure if they go this way. The initials, the initials over here kind of work like an RJ, but over here it doesn't work. If you flip it over, then it kind of looks like JJ, but yeah, I don't know. So hello, Polly's Projects. All right, Polly's Projects is taking those. But they are they are going to be good for something. And I know somebody's going to use them for something. So nice to see you, Polly. Polly's projects, Paula. <laughs> um, okay. So those were two, those were two fun freebies. Sometimes with lot things, it's like, yeah, I can go through. I can find some free things to give away. I always like doing that. Um, all right. So we are going to start off with some bracelets today. And I am going to have a $1 start on this one. Um, well, you know, these are, these are something, huh? Uh, so mostly plastic beads on this one. So the white beads are plastic. The gold tone beads, they feel plastic. They've got a little seam on them. Hi, Lorianne. They've got a little seam. These little pieces, though, they feel like something. Maybe those are little stones. 
little stones in there. It's kind of what it feels like. Hello, Gatita. So little stretchy uh, white plastic beads, gold plastic beads, and I think little stone beads. Yeah, they're, they're like little polished stone beads. They've They've got a little feel to them. I'll show you how that looks on. This is going to start at just $1. Just $1 for the bracelet. And anything that doesn't sell, I will do, do a speed round. Ooh, that was hard to say. I will do a speed round at the end. Uh, but if you're interested in something that you saw earlier that I passed on, you don't have to wait for the speed round. You can just let me know. Okay, another $1 bracelet. This one kind of feels like, um, oh, we're having chat errors again, huh? Oh, boy. I am not sure what these are made out of. They don't have like the coolness of a stone, but they don't quite feel like plastic either. They might be. They just might be a different kind of composite, but kind of a grayish color, nice neutral color that goes with everything. Little silver tone spacers in here. So this one, $1, and yeah, again, these could be, I didn't, ran out of time this morning. Nobody picks this up. I will do it with my gem tester, and I will see if those are stone. But even my house isn't that hot that stone should still have a little coolness to it. So $1 for the gray. Okay, then we are going up to $2 for the next one. And this one is a nice variety of frosted. So here are the frosted beads. They've got these really cool little spacers, silver tone spacers in here. And then these feel like glass. And maybe that's what this these are. Maybe these are little glass beads. But these definitely, these feel like glass. Again, sometimes it's hard to tell with these beads which ones are and which ones aren't. But if they're kind of a, like a champagne color. And I'll show you how that looks on. So these are nice and smooth and round, and these ones are faceted, so they do sparkle a little bit. Um, yes, DM, I've got you for the gray one. Thank you. <laughs> and then this one, little glass beads with frosted beads and a nice champagne color. Again, very neutral color. I'm going to go with a lot of things. And really nice if you want to, like, layer. And that's right. I was using this last night as an example for uh, a piece of pottery. Yep. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, Robert Redman and his fantastic ideas of using jewelry on pottery like maybe you have a vase and you slip that down and let it sit you know like you have a vase and maybe it gets a little bulbous and you let that slip down in there so yeah yeah good ideas from uh mr redmond okay i've got another two dollar bracelet this one is in browns so almost a coppery brown Great color for fall. It also has little facets, shapes on it, and little silver tone spacers. So it does pick up the light nicely. 
they're kind of a flat, round, well, flat oval shape. Let's call it that, like a flat oval shape. I'll show how this one looks on. And you can see it does sparkle in the light. Those facets do pick up the light very nicely. Hi, Barb. And we've got Barb in for two. And we'll count that down for Barb. Going once, going twice and sold to Barb. Thank you, Barb. All right, I brought some ties today and I've got some different ones that I didn't even know existed. So that's always fun. Uh, but we are going to start with some smaller ones. And this one has a clip. So pretty pink clip, pink ears, pink eyes, pink nose, pink spots. This is, oops, come on, open up. This is Tasha the Leopard. Tasha the Leopard. Hi, Sherry. And this is one of the mini sizes, but it comes with a clip. So you can put that on a backpack, on a tote bag. If you have a Louis Vuitton, you can put that on your Louis Vuitton and show it off. <laughs> and thank you, Polly's Projects. I see you in for three. No reason why you can't dress up your coach handbag, your Louis Vuitton, you know. Set it apart so you can you can always find your handbag. Um, <laughs> we've got Gatita at four and Polly's Projects is out. Thank you. And I will count that down for Gatita. So going once, going twice, and sold to Gatita. Thank you. And thank you, Paula. Okay, I've got one more with a clip today. It is also going to start at three. And this one is Gilda. Nah, I know, I know, DM. I'm I'm cutting it short. <laughs> I'm cutting it short. I'm just saying the going once, the going twice. <laughs> so this one is Gilda. Gilda. The flamingo. Beautiful blue eyes. This one also has a clip. Hi, Jolita. And we've got Polly's Projects in for three. And little pink legs. Looks like she's walking. <laughs> so yeah, little pink wings. Teeny tiny little pink wings. And I just had the big one of her, um, you know, because we've got the little mini size, then we've got the six inch size. And I just had the, oh gosh, measuring that one. I think with the feet, it ended up being like 13 inches. It was a big one. But yeah, I just had that one in a sale. But isn't that cute? All right. We are going to count that down for Polly's Projects. Going once, going twice, and sold to Paula. Thank you. All right. Then I have these little things that Ty calls puffies. They are little puffies, which basically means they're like, Mostly just a head. 
So they've got a flat bottom, so they sit nicely. Here is a unicorn puffy with like rainbow sparkles. Name is Harmony. One ear has glittery green. One ear has glittery pink. A glittery blue horn. We've got the little bits there. And oh, and then he's got like little front feet, little back feet, all different colors. Thank you, Polly's Projects. But beautiful rainbow pastel confetti. This would be really cute at Easter time also to bring out. And we will count that down for Paula going once, going twice. And sold to Paula. Thank you. All right. I have got another puffy. But is there a kid crying in Washington? <laughs> uh, maybe. There, <laughs> there might be. <coughs> I'm going to hope that they, they volunteered these. They kept their favorites for now. These ones maybe weren't their favorites. So, yeah. You never know. You never know, you know, why why people transition through certain of these. Hi, Lois. Uh, but I've got another puffy. This one is Prince. And Prince is a husky. Beautiful accents in blue, blue eyes, that pretty blue glittery material. So Prince the husky. And he is a puffy. Oh, and Paula is in. I know he's blue, isn't he? <laughs> Beautiful blue. And they are so cute. It's like they've got um, chipmunk cheeks. Like their cheeks are all full of nuts. They've got just those cute, puffy little cheeks. All right. So we will count this down for Paula going once. Going twice. And sold to Paula. Thank you, Paula. All right. Uh, so now I have some, well, they call them teeny ties. They were calling these stackables. They might not be calling them stackables anymore, unless it's in here somewhere. Nope, they're just calling them teeny ties now. Uh, but I have Zinger, Zinger, the bee, beautiful honey amber colored eyes. Isn't that cute? And here is Zinger's tag. But yeah, so these ones are done in a way that you can stack the others on top to make it a little easier to display them. So Zinger the bumblebee. And he's got his little antenna right here. And Paula is in. Thank you, Paula. And we will count that down. Going once. Going twice. Oh, it's thinking about it. Okay. And sold to Paula. Thank you. All right. One more teeny. Teeny. 
And surprise, surprise, it's a blue one. <laughs> it's a poodle. Hi, Lori. It's a poodle named Lexi. There is a poodle named Lexi. Cute with the little, the little curls on the ears, little curl on the top. And even the feet have like a little bit of curl on them. So cute. Blue eyes. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. <laughs> Here is the back with a little bit of curl on the tail. And we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Paula. Thank you. All right. But I did bring some jewelry today. Also, uh, some more jewelry. I know you saw the bracelets. Hi, Robbie. Uh, but I brought some earrings. And these earrings are going to start at $3. These are, I think, let me get them into the light here. It all depends on which lighting I get them into. But yeah, I think these are rose gold, rose gold earrings. They have the hinge back on them. And they've got a bunch of beautiful blue rhinestones, a really nice variety. And like some clear, oh, maybe a couple of purple in there. So I'll show them side by side. So they're not 100% matchy-matchy. You see the, the way that they placed them. Oh, wait. Do I have them going the same direction? Oh, I do. Huh. Okay, hang on. These are in different spots. All right. Hold on, Lois. I just, I want to, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to pass on these and I'm going to show you why. Not only are they not quite lined up this way, they're not quite lined up in the back. Now I've got some more earrings to sort through. I'm going to, I'm going to hold off on these and see if I have a match because these are on, they're on in different spots. I just realized this is attached towards the bottom and this is attached towards the top, but the hinge is going the same direction. So yeah, I'm going to hold off on these and see if maybe there's another pair that matches up with these. Like they used the same um, the same rhinestones, but they configured them differently. Um, so yeah, so sorry about that. I know they're really pretty, um, but I just noticed that thing on the back and I don't want you walking around with your earrings in different spots on your ears um, because they configured them differently. So as I go through them, I'm going to be looking for another pair and if I find another match, then we'll bring them back. All right, so we'll go on to the next pair, which are little ladybugs. And they are going to start at three. They are also on a little hinge back. Silver tone, silver tone this time. And we've got little enamel ladybugs. And they are just teeny. So you can see they're just going to be a little splash of color there. But super cute little ladybugs. Got three little spots on the backs. Put them together here. So silver tone, hinge back earrings, little ladybugs. And they are metal and enamel. And hi, Ashley. So we've got Ashley in first for three. And then there are the little ladybugs. So again, just a little splash of color on your ear. Lois is at four. 
Ashley is at five. Thank you, Lois. Lois is out. So we will count this down for Ashley. Going once, going twice, and sold to Ashley. Thank you, and thank you, Lois. Okay, the next earrings I have are a, a hook design. And they are going to start at $3 silver tone. Silver tone hooks. And I'll show you right here. So when they're on your ear, it's going to look like this. And it has a beautiful blue solitaire. And then a really nice design. Going to let in some light back there. So these are going to sparkle. But yeah, when you put them... Let's see, when you put them in your ear, yeah, you're going to go like that. And they're going to hang down. Let's see. Not too far. They're going to be kind of right towards the bottom of your ear when they hang down. But really pretty blue solitaires. And here is the other one. Here is the side view. And thank you, Lois. All right. Well, we will count those down for Lois. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Lois. Thank you. Okay, then the last pair of earrings for today um, are also going to start at $3. And this time I've got a gold tone, amber. Oops, kind of a champagne amber, isn't it? These are hinge back earrings. So they've got a nice hinge. Beautiful champagne amber color. And they are sparkly. Woo, look at that sparkle. So they are going to hit just below your earlobe. And they are surrounded in gold. So that nice gold tone encasing the rhinestone. Beautiful sparkle on those. All right, we've got Lois in for three. And we'll go ahead and count that down for Lois. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Lois. Thank you, Lois. Right. I brought some necklaces today also. Hi, Kim. Uh, oh, great timing, Kim. So uh, Kim from Oh My Vintage is having her monthly sale. We talked about this earlier. I shared the link. Um, so yeah, so Kim's sale starts at 4.30 Eastern time today. And here is the link to Kim's sale. So please click on that link, check the reminder button, so you'll get an extra reminder uh, to join Kim today at 4.30 
Jen is also having a sale today that will start at 6.30 p.m. And Jen's sale is all Halloween. Kim's sale is all clearance. I saw that. All clearance on Kim's sale and all Halloween on Jen's sale tonight. So, um, so yeah, be sure and check them out later today. Um, let's see. Oh, my first necklace is going to start at $3. And it is a silver tone necklace. that wants to, hmm, hang on one sec. For some reason, it wants to bunch up a lot. So let me see if it's just a little tangled. Let me try to untangle that a bit. Okay, there, that'll work a little better. So a silver tone necklace. Here is the clasp. Really pretty chain on this one. And we've got a nice little feather pendant down at the bottom. This one is 18 inches. The chain is 18 inches and the pendant is about an inch and a half. We got pretty little beads. Nice little feathers. Hi, Sherry. So 18 inches and a beautiful chain. If you want to use that chain for another pendant that you have, do it. Swap them out. But yeah, that is a really pretty, and it's so sparkly. I like that. So 18 inch chain, about an inch and a half pendant. And we've got Sherry in at three. And we will count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Okay. Now I've got a really beautiful necklace. It has one little bit of a flaw to it. Uh, so it's going to start at $3. And I'll show you the little flaw on it. Um, so it's on this cord. And this is an adjustable cord. So you can open it up, put it on over your head, and then tighten it again to get it to fall exactly where you want. Okay, here is the flaw. You see this side here, the little string is all where it's supposed to be. On this side, the little string has come loose. So I just want to point that out. Uh, this is a beautiful multi-strand purple bead necklace. This is so gorgeous. Look at all of those beautiful purple beads. But because it's got that one flaw, I'm giving you a steal of a deal on this one. So I'll show you how it goes on. Hi, Cindy. So you can put it on like that. Then you just pull, pull that, and you can put it wherever you want to. You can make it as short or as long as you want to. The beads alone are worth a whole lot more than that, yeah. Yeah, they really are. So beautiful necklace. And then again, you just pull, pull this little part out and you can adjust it however you want to. And you have got these fantastic multi-strand purple beads. And thank you, Sherry. Yeah, these beads are gorgeous. But, you know, because we've got the little issue with the thread up here, um, and it's going to need, 
either a little work. You could probably even take that, take the other side out just to have them be matchy again if you want to. So we will count that down for Sherry. Or you could probably even take this out and restring it onto another, another base here. All right, so going once, going twice, and sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. That is a great deal. All right, the next one I have is a beautiful multi part flower pendant. It is going to start at $5. And it's on a pretty cool chain too. So I'll show you the chain. This one does have a little, let's see, it's at the highest or at the shortest here. Ooh, let me get that undone real quick. Sure, real quick. Here, let's put it down here and then open it up and get it out. No, you still don't want to? There we go. Got it. The The little bottom part here was, was attached to it really funky. Um, okay, I'm going to make it as large as it can go. And then, oops, turn that around. I'm going to show you this beautiful multi-part down here. So you can see we've got a nice flower in the center here with some purple and I'm not sure if those are clear. They almost have like a little yellowish to them, but lots of purple and then these beautiful little side flowers. So this chain at its max is about 18 inches, 18 inches. Ooh. We get that there. So then you can see as you're wearing it, it's going to look kind of like that. And let's see. Oh, we've got Sherry in first. Sherry in first at five. And hi, Nancy. So I'm going to show it on. Wearing it at its max, it's going to hit right about here, but you can make it a little shorter. But yeah, I just love that. So you have the just the solitaire, the little flower, the bigger flower. Beautiful design. And thank you, Nancy. Thank you. So yeah, just absolutely beautiful. So we will count that down for Sherry. You know, it's not marked. I couldn't find a marking on this anywhere. I'm going to double check the back just to be sure. No. And in fact, it's got some, it's got some wear on the back. So I'll show, let me show the back here. So yeah, it's got, got a bit of wear on the back. So whoever had this, I think this was one of their favorites, and they wore this a lot. All right, so we will count that down for Sherry. So going once, going twice, and sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry, and thank you, Nancy. Okay, I've got one more necklace, and this is a big one. And if you're not necessarily into a multi-strand necklace, uh, but you are a jewelry maker, this does have multi-strands that you can use for other projects. Uh, but I'm going to start it at $5. It's a silver tone, multi-strand. 
And let me get it up here. So we've got these fun little triangles here that all of the strands connect to. And there are five strands here. So we have the first one, just a nice silver tone chain. The next one down has these little rhinestone disco balls. There are three, three of the disco balls on here. We've got next some pearl beads. We've got another link. This one has some texture to it. And then the longest one has these larger pearl beads. Thank you, Sherry. So now that I've gotten this all, all rearranged, let's get it back here. That's pretty close. So I can show you when you're wearing this. Oops, let's get this. Got Nancy at six. Let me get that in. Sometimes these multi strands have a mind of their own. But this one has a really nice variety. Let's see there. Oh, let me go. Trying to show it off to its best. There we go. Got them, got them untangled. There you go. So you've got that, just the chain. We've got the pearls, we've got the little disco balls, and then we've got the larger chain, the textured one, and then those pearl beads at the end there. So super fun variety, and it is a longer necklace. Uh, let's see, where is that? There it is. So yeah, and you have a lot of variety here. So you've got this whole length that you can make it as short as you want, or you can make it as long as you want. So lots of variety with this one. Thank you, Sherry. Sherry is out. So we will count this down for Nancy. Going once, going twice, and sold to Nancy. Thank you, Nancy, and thank you, Sherry. All right, we are going to go back to some ties. Hi, Linda. So we've got a $5 start. And we have a blue owl. And potential spam. Oh, should I answer? <laughs> uh, this one's name is Yago. Yago, and it is a silk, a Thai silk. And we've got Gatita in first. Oh, we've got Ashley at seven. So super cute. Oh, you sent me two pictures. Oh, I'll have to take a look at them. Yay, how fun. And we've got, oh, Sherry at eight. Thank you, Paula. Paula is out. <laughs> you know, I don't know if they know their no name is potential then. You know, I should say, hello, potential spam. What are you calling about today? <laughs> so this one actually is a little softer. So yeah, that Thai silk. Thai silk Yago. And Sherry is out. <laughs> and go, hi, I'm live on YouTube. <laughs> Let me share your number. <laughs> Maybe we should do that. Ooh, ooh, that could be fun. <laughs> huh. 
We'll have everybody call you back. How about that? <laughs> All right. We've got Ashley at 10. And thank you. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Sherry. And I think Paula for letting me know you are out. So we will see. Gatita, um, please let me know if you are out or if you would like to come in at 11 or higher. <laughs> and Gatita is at 11. <laughs> oh, Susan, you had four today. Oh, no. Well, that is not fair. That is way too many. Way too many. No, it's like you've you've maxed out at that point. No. And we've got uh, Ashley out. So thank you. And Gatita at 11. We will count this down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Gatita. Thank you. And thank you, everyone. One was from Washington. Yes, yes. I had a little time this morning. So I thought I would uh, put in a couple of, of spam calls. Um, I'm, I'm very disappointed. More people didn't answer. <laughs> I'm curious, how how do phones know? How do they know it's spam? I'm curious. If you know it's spam, why don't you just not put it through in the first place? How about that? Uh, so next, next, $5. And we have a little horse, a horse named Harriet. This is also a Thai silk. A horse named Harriet. We've got a pretty little mane. Beautiful amber eyes. And this is kind of multicolored. So yeah, there are a few different colors. There's a few darker, like a darker color, a lighter color, and then that tan color. So it does come across as, as the nice multicolors. I know. What does Joe do with my phone when I'm not watching? That's a good question, Susan. He just might be doing a little phone calling. All right. So $5 for the multicolored Harriet the horse. And thank you, Cindy. We've got Cindy in for 5 And we will count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. All right. This one is a little, it's a little too cute. It is really cute. It is not a boo. So it doesn't have the big eyes. But it is... Crazy cute. It is a purple bunny. Get this beautiful bunny. I guess it's a rabbit because it's Riley. Riley the rabbit. And let me see when Riley came out. Oh, Riley is not... Not old, 2000, well, 2019, four years old. Four years old for Riley the rabbit. Thank you, Sherry. Look at those cute little ears and that sweet little face. And I just love the purple on this one. We've got Jane at six. This is going to look great at Easter time. And the cute little white feet. Here is the little puff tail. There is the underside. So still purple on the underside. But yeah, absolutely adorable. Riley the rabbit. 
purple eyes to match, but a little pink nose. A little pink stitch right on the top of the nose there. Yeah, great for Easter, right? Love it. And then a little bit of pink in the ears. Oh, it does. It looks like cotton candy. You're right. Yes, that is exactly what it looks like. Okay, how'd they do that? <laughs> how'd they do that? Very clever. And yes, thank you, DM. Sherry. Oh, Sherry is in at seven. Really cute and a good size. So yeah, that is a nice size bunny. But so pretty with the purple. I know. And now that you said cotton candy, I can't unsee it. Jane is at eight. And Jane is at eight. And Sherry is out. Thank you, Sherry. And we will count that down for Jane. Going once, going twice, and sold to Jane. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Sherry. I know that one is just cuteness overload. Okay, uh, next animal. This is when you go, okay, they're thinking of, of everything. We've got a camel. A camel with a big smile on his face. Beautiful fabric. I love this around his legs. Fabric on his hump. <laughs> he is a boo. His name is Jamal. And he does, he sits down. So he doesn't stand. He's a sitter. Oh, and he's got the little colors out his tail too. So cute. And we've got Paula in at five. And beautiful amber eyes. And I, I like this. And Sherry is at six. Paula is at seven. Super sweet smile on his face. And nice and colorful. They did a great job on him. Sherry is at eight. Paula is out. Thank you, Paula. And we will count that down for Sherry. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. And thank you, Paula. All right. Now for something completely different. <laughs> I have um, some little pots. Pots that you could put plants in. Pots that you can do whatever you like to do with your pots. Uh, but the first one is going to start at $3. Hmm. And we've got this little one. So great for little succulents, maybe a cactus. This one does have an SH on the bottom. And it does have a nice unglazed bottom. It's not super big. It's kind of little. So if you wanted to use that by your sink for a little catch-all for your jewelry, it is about two inches tall and just a smidge over two. Well, it's kind of kind of like two and a quarter wide, but two inches tall. Just got a nice kind of a green into a slightly aqua color. And we've got Gatita at three. Hello, Jan. The inside is glazed. 
So it is glazed on the inside. The only part that isn't glazed is right here around the rim. We've got Jan at four, but just a beautiful design. And yeah, these are, these are so good to have around for all kinds of things. Put your paper clips in. Um, if you use little binder clips, I use a lot of binder clips. And so little things like this, yeah, they come in handy just to have things, just easy access to, just in an open container. Gatita is out. Thank you so much. And we will count this down for Jan. Going once. Going twice. and sold to Jan. Thank you, Jan. Let's see, put that over there. All right, I've got another pot. This one is just a little bit bigger. Now the other one had a really nice smooth glaze on it. This one has a rougher, a little more rustic look to it. Uh, so it's going to start at $3 also. So it is in the browns, like a dark, dark brown. But you can see the glaze has some texture to it. And nice hand thrown. You can see all the design in there. The inside is glazed. The bottom is not. And it says Julia. And I think it says P3. I think that is P3. So Julia, pottery class, did a great job with this one. A little more of a rustic style, though. Uh, it is three and a quarter inches wide and about two and a half inches tall. So if you have more of that rustic look, that is going to fit in. So $3 on that one. And Sherry is in. Thank you, Sherry. All right, we will count that down for Sherry. Going once, going twice, and sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, I've got another one by Julia. This one is going to start at $4. It's a little bigger. Let's see, the opening on this one is four inches. And it is about two and three quarter inches tall. This one's kind of in a more natural color, almost an orangish color. So it could be fun for Halloween. Here is the inside. And it is, you know, it's kind of right in between the two. It's not as rough, rustic as the brown one, but not quite as smooth as the green one, kind of right in between. This one is also signed Julia. And just a little bigger. So it could be cute to put a little pumpkin on top of here, use it as a little pedestal in a display, but hand thrown, nice lines in it, and just a little bit bigger. So thank you, Sherry. We've got Sherry in at four. And we will count this down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you. Okay, this next one you may remember from the estate sale haul. I think this could be a fantastic gift for someone. Um, 
I'm going to start it at $5. And this is the first prize 1975 Fishing Derby from the Malibu Chamber of Commerce. It has a really cool, I mean, even though it's 75, it still has a very mid-century modern feel to it. But I'm thinking there is some fisherman out there who would absolutely get a kick out of this, who would think that was pretty awesome and would really like to display this. Now, this is a nice piece of metal right here. It is heavy duty screwed in there. It's not going anywhere. It's not loose. And then this piece also is screwed in. It's not glued on or anything like that. It is screwed in. So for shipping wise, I could probably undo that screw, take that out. And then when you get it home, put that back together to make it a little easier to ship. But think about that. Think about some fisherman that you know who would absolutely think it was cool to get a first prize trophy in the Malibu Chamber of Commerce. So yeah, nice wood, really nicely made. So I know that's not a piece that's going to apply to everybody, but think about that. Think about someone who would just think that was pretty fun to get something like that. <laughs> that's right. The stories that could come out of that, right? <laughs> Okay, we are going to go back to some ties. And again, some of these that are coming up, especially the two at the end, I didn't even know tie made. So pretty fun. Uh, these are going to start at five. And up first is Paw Patrol. Yep, Paw Patrol. Very, very popular. This is Sky from Paw Patrol. She's got her hat and her goggles on. There is her Paw Patrol badge. And there she is, Sky. So Sky is $5. Hi, Doug. <laughs> That's true. That is so true. The, the golfing with the... Um, one of the decks of cards was, um, oh gosh, now I can't think of the right word, exaggerated golf stories. So yeah, the fishing, the fishing could definitely go with the exaggerated golf stories. You went fishing in Hawaii? That's awesome. And yeah, that's pretty close to Malibu. <laughs> We've got Sherry in first for Sky from Paw Patrol. And we will see if Barb would like to come in at six or if Barb is out. Pretty pink eyes to go with the pink ensemble. Oh, Barb was in at six. Sherry at seven. Sorry, it took a second for my chat to, to kind of jump. So, so cute with her little hat. And then she's got the little strings that come down on the sides for her hat. Barb is at eight. I know Paw Patrol still very, very popular. And pretty genius of them to use dogs for the most part for Paw Patrol. You know, that's, that's pretty awesome. Who doesn't like, like dogs doing things? You know, we, we. Even adults like it. Um, so we've got Barb at eight and Sherry is out. Thank you, Sherry. And we will count that down for Barb going once. 
going twice and sold to Barb. Thank you, Barb. And thank you, Sherry. Okay, one of my surprising favorite movies, animated movies, uh, this character is from, which I kind of, when I turned it on, I thought, oh, this could be cute. I ended up loving this movie, and that is Sing. So this is one of the characters from Sing. His name is Johnny. And he's got his little leather jacket and his little t-shirt that he wears in the movie, his jeans, his sneakers. So, yep, yeah, for everybody who has seen Sing, if you haven't seen Sing, please do. It's not just for kids. It is really well done. And there is a second one, a second one that is... A little sillier, but it it pulls through in the end. So we've got Sherry at five and DM at six. DM at six. So super fun. I didn't know Ty did sing, sing animals. Who knew? Yeah, so the movie is called Sing. Just S-I-N-G. It is called Sing. And there is a sing too. And they are they are a lot of fun. I really, really liked them. Um, and you know, it has it has like those um oh gosh, it, re it reminded me so much when I was watching it of the guy who's trying to like like do everything and, and like put on a, a competition. Um, he reminded me so much of the guy the old uh, cartoon with the singing frog that like the saw the frog sang and then he would take it to see someone and um and then he wouldn't sing he wouldn't perform and there were like elements of that that kind of reminded me at the beginning of sing and sherry is at seven dm is out thank you so much and we will count this down for sherry Going once, going twice, and sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry, and thank you, DM. Okay, the next one is from, I know, of one of the favorites of a lot of people. And that is The Secret Life of Pets. Those movies crack me up also. And I have got Duke. So this is Duke from The Secret Life of Pets. Fantastic movie. And there's a lot of Duke. <laughs> Duke is a big one. So he's got his tag down here also. So yeah, he's got the bushy hair. Oh, he's got his little collar on also. So there is Duke. And we've got, oh, Sherry in first for five. Hi, Debbie. He is really soft. Yeah. Yeah. They did a great job on his fur. He is super soft and so darn cute. Let me get his, get his eyes showing there. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, really cute with the little tag in here from The Secret Life of Pets. Is that him and Max? Is that his name, Max? Debbie is at six. Thank you, Debbie. And he's got a little tail back here also. Sherry is at seven. 
And then on the bottom here, he's got little pads on his paws and a little tummy. And oh, Debbie is at eight. <laughs> we'll know that Debbie is just at eight. <laughs> And thank you, Sherry, and thank you, Debbie. And we will count this down. There we go. <laughs> we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, uh, next is not a boo. This is another non-boo. We're going to start at five. And we've got a beautiful elephant. This one is named Pounds. Pounds the elephant. And multiple colors here. So on my end, it looks like a, like a tan, almost a pinkish tan, like a pinkish tan. And then a couple of colors of gray to give it a little more definition. Here is the front. Oh, I guess he kind of is a boo, isn't he? He's got colored eyes, but they call him just a beanie babies. So beautiful coloring and the elephant. Let's see, can he stand? He can kind of stand, but it's almost like he wants to sit. And we've got Sherry at five. Thank you, Sherry. Beautiful tail there. And then little pads on the bottom. But yeah, the multicolor, very pretty. And like a, a pinkish tan and then the grays in there. And we will count that down for Sherry. Going once, going twice, and sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. All right, then I have a flippable. I love the sequin ones that are flippables. This one is going to start at five. Do I have a llama? It is very possible I have a llama. I have, I have a bunch. And <laughs> uh, do I have easy access to all of them right now? No. <laughs> so I'm just kind of grabbing the ones that I can kind of have easy access to as I get access to them. <laughs> We've got Jane in for five. Thank you. So this one is a unicorn and his name is Sunset. So Sunset. And I'll show you the back here where I've got them kind of done. So on one side, we've got pink. And on the other side, we've got this beautiful golden color. So beautiful golden color. The eyes are also kind of an amber golden color. Paula is at six. Jane is at eight. Yeah, if I if I come across one, I will let you know. Paula is at nine. Yeah, if I had a nice like cabinet, I could stack them all in and <laughs> be able to see them easier. That would be awesome. <laughs> but unfortunately, right now, not yet. Not yet. Maybe one day. And beautiful gold feet. And a pink mane. Gold horn. Paula is out. Thank you, Paula. And then, yeah, so pretty with the pink on one side and the gold on the other. And we will count this down for Jane. Going once, 
going twice and sold to Jane. Thank you, Jane. And thank you, Paula. Okay, now, now we're getting into the ones that I did not know that these even existed. I'm gonna start at five dollars, and we've got a mermaid. I didn't know they did mermaids. Look at that beautiful little netting on here, little sparklies, and kind of the flippables design. We've got DM at five. And then her hair needs a little TLC. It's, but she's got two little pigtails with the beautiful hair. We've got DM at nine. I think we've got Sherry at 10. Paula at 11. DM at 12. I did not even know they did these. Isn't this fantastic? And Sherry is at 13. And then, yeah, the sequin is flippable. So it is this pretty frosted color. And then you can flip it. And it's this beautiful blue. DM is out. Thank you, DM. And Paula is at 14. Sherry is at 15. Look at that beautiful face. She's got lashes for days. <laughs> nice little smile on her face. And Paula is out. Thank you, Paula. But yeah, she's gorgeous. Now she's got, she's got a little bum right there. That is the sitter. So she can be a shelf sitter. But yeah, she is something else. And so we will count this down for Sherry. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. And thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, DM. Yeah, she was pretty awesome. And then the next one. Again, no idea that there was a Disney tie-in, like a direct Disney tie-in with Minnie Mouse. Look at Minnie. Isn't she gorgeous? All in beautiful rainbow. She's got a rainbow bow with polka dots, a rainbow dress also with polka dots. And she has beautiful silvery gloves on, very sparkly shoes. And then her little tag back here does say Sparkle Mini from Disney. But yeah, I did not know that Ty did a Disney, um, a Disney collab. I didn't know. But why not, right? Why not? Okay, we've got Cindy and Sherry and Lori. Oops, at eight. Sherry at 10. But I love her little rainbow dress. So colorful. Rainbows are lovely all year round. And we've got Lori at 11. Cindy is out. Thank you, Cindy. Sherry at 12. And then here is the back of Minnie. And she's really soft also. Lori is out. Thank you, Lori. And we will count that down for Sherry. I just love her pink sparkly shoes also. All right, going once, going twice, and sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry, and thank you, Cindy, and thank you, Lori. 
Okay, well, that was everything that I brought today. So just a couple of items to do for the speed round. And the speed round, we've got a bracelet. This one has white plastic beads, gold plastic beads, but I think these might be stone. I think these little ones in here are stone. This is just going to be $1. Hi, Roy. $1 for the bracelet. I'll show it on. You can just put in a one. Just put in a one if you would like that. Nice neutral colors goes with everything. So $1 for that one. And then I've got $2 for this one with the frosted beads. So this has nice frosted beads. And then these feel like glass beads. So this is $2. So just put in a number two. So glass bead, kind of champagne colored glass beads with the frosted beads. And I'll show it on. So we've got one for this bracelet, two for this bracelet. And then I've got the fishing trophy. This was $5, $5 for first prize, 1975 Fishing Derby, Malibu Chamber of Commerce. Beautiful wood and a metal fish. And that one was $5. And that is everything. That's everything for the speed round. So thank you everyone so much for joining me today. Uh, remember that Kim from Oh My Vintage, her sale starts at 4.30 today. Let me put the link in. Uh, click on that link so you will get a reminder to join Kim at 4.30 today. She is having a clearance sale, so you're not going to want to miss that. And then Jen at 6.30 Eastern Time is going to be having a Halloween sale. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. Uh, so that is 4.30 for Kim, 6.30 for Jen. Hey, your day is, you know, your afternoon into evening is uh, all planned out depending on which time zone you're in. So be sure and check them out. And thank you all so much for joining me. Um, yeah, I got, I've got a busy, busy day planned for myself. So I will be seeing you in the chats. Everyone take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you for the double sale tomorrow with Jen. Don't forget, we start at 11 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. And Lori Blue Flamingo is going to be our guest. So be sure and check us out tomorrow. Bye, everyone.